How's it going guys? My name is Neil Messenger and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dot Hack GU The Last Recode. We finished up Rebirth in the last episode, which was amazing. We took out Triage, as you can see right above us. And so now we are going to, and in the process actually of all that, we also um, managed to infect Adelie with Ida from the lockers that she was trying to open. And so now we are going to uh, continue on from there into Reminisce, which is part two. There was a cutscene at the end of the last episode that kind of hinted at this game here, so or this episode, or this volume here. So if you haven't seen it, I do encourage you to please check out the previous video that we had for this series. I will have these in a playlist so you can see them all. And I will try to put the, uh, the video description or video link in the description below as well. If I can't, forgive me. I am not all I'm not all the best at it. But so now let's begin with our Reminisce of Volume 2. Oh, yeah. Notice that old, uh, good old fashioned uh, outfit, too. And we're going to continue with all the characters that I've had previously. So, all the levels and things that I have from the previous one are going to carry over into this for us so that we have a little more to work with. Yes, please. Yes, please. I didn't finish all the quests in the first one, I'll admit. Yes, but you'll be receiving us for converting G GU Rebirth Clear Data if your inventory is full as we'll be sorting your guild storage. Volume list of these items obtained. Amber Dragon Eye, Mind Larva, Bloody Body Larva, Dark Kill, then Thunder Deer Hoof. Nice. But I feel like those represent oh, 5,000 GP. The new movie was added to the desktop movie player. Nice. Let's get started, guys. Ah oh, yeah. Ah oh, yeah. Let's go. Here we go. Okay. Ah, so exciting. That hindrance? That's a little girl. <laughs> what? After all that's happened, you really want to stay in the world. Yeah. All that we have is here. You and I. Yes, this place is all we have. Hmm? What? I wasn't expecting that, that's for sure. The online game. The world, Revision 2. It has now become a place where players prey on other players. <laughs> a lawless land filled with an overabundance of PKers. And the PKKer, feared by all PKers, was Haseo, the terror of death. Haseo searched and at long last found his hated enemy, Triage but discovered he was no match for him. He was then reduced to level one by Tri-Edge's data drain. In his search for a power that could defeat Tri-Edge, Haseo learned of the anomaly known as Ida and the epitaph users that could resist them. And that lured him towards their power, the Avatars. Bordeaux, a PKer with a grudge against Haseo. Matsu, 
the seventh unit leader of the Moon Tree Guild. Alcade, the former emperor who fights to regain her throne. Through battling these three, Haseo grew both as an epitaph user and as a person. Upon defeating Endrance, the beautiful emperor of the Demon Palace, <laughs> Haseo learned that he had been using Ida to fill a hole in his heart from something lost in his past. On the day Haseo was crowned the new emperor, The young girl of Moon Tree, Adelie, disappeared. In his search for her, Haseo came upon outer space. And at last encountered Triage. In his second battle with Triage, Haseo came out victorious. Triage was broken up into data fragments and was lost. But just when everyone had let down their guards, a vast number of Ida tentacles suddenly appeared. And pierced Adelie's body. <laughs> so for anybody who did not know what happened in the end of the last episode, if you didn't want to watch the last video that, you know, that all this stuff occurred on. Uh, I... That was basically what happened. Moving on. Adelie! Uh, Haseo? Adelie! Oh, I have to get up. I'll get yelled at again if I don't. Adelie! Adelie! If... If I could only be more like Haseo. Hmm. I... Hey, Adderley! It's like in a daze. Adderley! Huh? Where am I? She sounds weird. In an at-home. Ours. And at home. That's weird. I. Uh... <sighs> Your voice sounds like you're I... a guess. I. Oldham told me. And then I started to hear. Natalie, calm down. Are you okay? Come on, speak to me! Damn it! Not this again! This isn't happening! Oh, Haseo. Just leave everything to me. Come on! I... Mega! Not sure how he's helping with that, because all he's doing is carrying her out. Don't worry, you'll be safe now. So how do you feel, Adelie? Are you hurt anywhere? I'm okay, I think. 
You sound weird. Uh, uh, what? My voice. Yeah, let's start. You know, we haven't heard Adelie say anything for a while now. Hmm? Maybe her mic is broken. At that. times like these, it's best to just log out and reboot. Um. Okay, I'll just log out now. Uh. <gasps> That's a problem. This is Ravens. Don't worry about your character. Just remove your M2D and... <gasps> Wait. Wait a second. I don't understand. Where are we right now? Huh? We're right... Okay. What the hell? Haseo, what about you? Where are you right now? Wait. Hmm. Am I seeing the world directly? I... Huh? But where did my real self go? Wait, we've got to log out. Everyone log out. Is this a really bad dream or something? Calm down. Kind of hard to be calm. Currently, it appears that all the players in the world cannot log out from the game's master server. And thus begins the legacy of SAO. Yes. Under the circumstances, it is most likely that the Ida phenomenon is to blame for this. Wait a sec. Never mind logging out. What I want to know is, are we all really inside the game? But that's impossible. Even for Ida! Your senses should be informing you that you have now ventured into the game's wondrous world. If you say that this truth is only an imaginary one, then I ask you, where is the real world? As long as they cannot be refuted, there is no end to the possibilities in this world. Perhaps it's also Ida's influence that's keeping us from hearing Adelie's voice. Anyway, some kind of bug? That's a word for it. We'll call that a bug. Anyway, we've got to figure out the situation. Ugh. You just can just stare? Oh, okay. I was like, what is going on here? Putting aside our inability to log out, it looks as though the game itself is functioning normally. We can use Chaos yeah, Gates, is. platforms, and save shops as we did before this began. We can preserve our data at save shops as usual, but mm -hmm. we cannot check email or forums from outside of the game. We still lack information. I'd like all of you to help investigate the situation. Pi, search the areas. Kuhn, go and search Lumina Cloth. Understood. Got it. Haseo, search Makanu. Fine with me. You're tired. You should rest here for a little while. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. 
Because that's even possible to do in this situation. Oh, well, Dinora's chest in the background there. Hmm? What? She's hobbling. She is. I need to ask around Makanu. I should start by asking as many players as possible. No one's here. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, the place is easy as I was expecting here. Okay, well, that works. <laughs> Jims, you know what's happening here? I understand. Why can I not get out and do my own thing? Nah. Just keep going. I just rode the bike since there's nobody around here. Clappers. Hey, it's the life. Let's go. Teach me your ways. Do you want to run inside the world? That's it. I'm dreaming. It's got to be a dream. Ha 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 ha. I've slept. In, I haven't slept in four days and I couldn't hold up anymore. I'm terrible. I can't stop playing the world even in my dreams. What do you have? Equipment. Fist talent. I'll take that. There we go. Perfect. I'll take your fist down, thank you. Where am I? Is really the world? There's the room, the debug machine. No way the bug was. This bug was. Okay. There you go, man. With coincidence seeing you here. Oh. This very gravity. I have a steep price on this one. So let's, uh. Yeah, I'm sure that is. Uh... Oh, jeez. Okay. Um... That's... Apparently, I'm going to need these for this, okay? Can use that fortune to have traded with me. Whatever. I who the heck you are. Let me out of here. Help me. Can't seem to log out for some reason. I seem to be inside the world and you are way confused. Good. No equipment, but you do have healing serums. Okay, let's go back to our lovely little items here. Right, I want to keep at least one of those. Yeah. You seriously tell me I don't have enough? Wow. Okay. Well, the process of getting information, I also managed to get my hands on some uh, levy items. There's nobody around that can do this. 
Oh, what? Oh, okay. That works. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, it's a three guy. Oh. Why can't I log out? What am I gonna do? Can you log out? Log out command. This has never happened before. What should I do? As the leader of the Bank Union, oh, his man, I must not back down. What else do you have? Uh, healing serums, fairy orbs. I don't need any of those. What am I gonna do? Set the game. So it's not the healing receiver either. Can't use our transformation. Cancel command either. Can't count the squad leader on the other members at all. Okay. What's going on? Why can't I log out? I'm thinking it's inside the game. Are we? There's a much bigger problem than not being able to log out. Could be happening. I don't understand it. Unless you have nothing. Okay, we're good. Let's go this way. Woo! Wall. Lots of walls. Not the wall. Get the wall. You want the wall? Oh, not no, no, no. There. Let's go. This is such a cool bike, Cliff. Oh, calm yourselves, dang. Hey there, what's going on? What on earth is happening? Why am I unable to log out? Is there some type of new bug? What are the debuggers doing? Why has this been reported? Ah, uh, less than three seconds, we went off the deep end. Girl, you need to calm yourself down. I understand you're frustrated. That's not gonna help us anything, help anything if you just stay frustrated. Okay, there's a the body larva. Okay, I'll do this one. I am. Wait, I'm not going to fight. Okay. This guy messaged Sakaki tell, uh, tell all of us to meet at Moon Tree. I presume we'll be going off to stop Kestrel from taking advantage of the situation and causing disturbances. Noose fur. Armadillo shell. Revive rain. Oh. Okay, we're good. Got this one. I want this too. Alright, and let's see. Okay, now trading this is gonna be the fun part. Okay, uh, pardon that. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna mute myself for one second, guys, here. Yeah, never mind. We're good. <laughs> Tactical malfunction. A grim. Oh no, you're not getting my level 89. Nothing. What was that? I don't know. Gravity ring. Oh. Okay, so let's go. I am running out of options very quickly. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna do it. You. We're inside the world right now. I don't mean. We're playing the world. I'm sorry, it's hard to see and say. Do you get what I'm trying to say? If we're inside the world now, I hope that doesn't mean I fall into a coma. Oh, you know what? I didn't think about that, broadsheet. Nope. I'm good. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go up here and see what we can figure out from here. I demand some answers. Now? Nah. The admins come on out. The great communicator. Uh, what are you looking at? Get a problem with me? Uh, no, I don't. Stop it all. My friend was PK'd and Sif won't come back. So I managed to run away, but she took the attack to save me and she won't come back and learn how long I waited in town. I sent her some short mails, but she hasn't responded to any of them. It's all my fault. What should I do? Let me see what you have. Nope. We're good. Okay, let's go back to, uh, I guess we have to Lumina Cloth, not Lumina Cloth, what am I saying? Back to the at-home. Wait, 
Is anybody out here? Boxes. No, I can't do this. Fine. Raven. I need to ask around my canoe. I should start by asking. Actually, you know what? Back to you. I was into islands. Okay. That, that does not answer my. Are they gonna be down here? I've checked everywhere. Okay, this is the only place that I've not gone to talk to anybody. But there's really nobody here to talk to. People in Canard? Oh my! Nothing's gone wrong with the world. Talk. What's going on? Here, I got something for you, buddy. Calm your, calm yourself down, little here, buddy. Let's see here. Where's, where's that book I just got? Yeah, that one. Oh, never mind. Nope, nope. Not gonna give it to you. She didn't have Inquisition for now. It's taking place in Central. Oh, the disturbance is in Mid Central. I chose to give orders. So in Central District. Better hurry and check it out. Okay. That was weird. My character's going the wrong way. Let's go to Central Machinu then. What was that? That sounded weird. Okay. Let's see. Now I can be the issue here. Now, Vat. Hey, what's going on here? Why can't I log out? Is this some kind of event or someone's bad joke? Can you tell me what's happening? You're some kind of admin guy, right? Please, calm down. We are working hard to... How do you expect us to calm down? What are you going to do about this? I'm terribly sorry. Please, just try to be patient for a while. So, that guy in the blue suit is an admin. It looks like even CC Corp doesn't have a very good handle on the situation. So there's the disturbance. We now have some information. Let's please come to the Serpent of Lore immediately. Short course. Yada's calling me. Let's head back to Raven's Serpent of Lore. Alright. Like how they were there. I thought it was a disturbance, and all of a sudden it's just completely calm. Nobody's there. Hey! Huh. You! Why can't I log out of here? Hmm. Come on, speak up, will ya? Where am I? Oh. What is this place? Why am I actually inside the game? Mm. So it seems that humans who lack morals both online and offline say the very same things after all. Uh huh. <laughs> well, it seems that you only act strong when facing those weaker than you. Pitiful. If you're that scared, run back to Kestrel with your tail between your legs. Hmm. <laughs> okay. As reported, it looks like those from Kestrel are stirring more panic in the people. Everyone, go support the town's order. We must not let them panic. Understood. Okay. Adelie. I was so worried about you. Are you okay? I'm sorry, Sakaki. What's wrong? I can't seem to hear you. You see? Uh, I can't seem to hear you, but you're gonna explain everything. Ever since you were killed by a bugged monster, you've been unable to speak? How do you- what? Yes. I know it's kind of hard to believe. Oh no, I believe it. You're not one to tell a lie. Hmm. I'm sure you know this, but all players are currently unable to log out from the game. Mm -hmm. In fact, they have lost sight of their very selves. It's almost as if their minds have been absorbed into the heart of the world itself. Uh huh. But it's just an online game. That's right, a game. But at the same time, it's also a reality all its own, Adelie. At any rate, we must stop the players from panicking. That'd be a good start. You will help us, won't you? Yes! Good girl. Well then. Mm -hmm. 
So Mr. Sakaki's the only one you can rely on after all, huh? <laughs> So it's you, Terror of Death. Yep. It appears there are only enemies to be found in your world. Adelie, why are you here? I thought I told you to stay at the at-home. I'm hmm. sorry. I thought I should contact Sakaki and... And? Listen to me. This isn't something Moon Tree can do anything about. Even CC Corp don't even know what they're doing. I see. Are you saying that you can solve this situation? With a lot more certainty than you can. Huh. <laughs> What's so funny? Conceit. I don't like it. Don't him. you agree that it is the lust for power that is most certain to make fools out of people? Terror of death. What do you mean by that? Hmm. I mean exactly what I said. Adelie. <gasps> yes! Hmm. I will see you later. Okay. Why did you say that? Huh? Hmm. Why did you have to say things like that? Sakaki, Moon Tree, just wants to try and solve the situation. They only want to help everyone. Ida isn't a problem that Moon Tree can solve. You're not gonna ask what the particles on her hand were? Really? We're not gonna do that? Oh, there we go. Ten. One more time. I see. The situation is much more serious than we thought. Let us summarize for a moment. Okay. Ever since the Ida phenomenon occurred while searching for Atalie, no one has been able to log out of the game. Furthermore, none of the players have been able to return to their real-world selves and their real lives. And no new players have been able to log into the game. Communications with the outside receive no reply. Hmm. Some of the players have panicked to the point where they're starting to get violent. It seems that the system admins can't contain these players any longer. Yes. The system admins themselves are just as confused. Right now their real selves are... At this point, we're no different than the lost ones. It is quite obvious that the reason for this abnormality is Ida. Yeah. <laughs> and? If we ever want to return to the real world again, it is imperative that we investigate Ida as quickly as possible. And one more thing. Let me tell you something important. Something important? Is everything else not important? Now that her epitaph has been stolen, Adelie's PC data is starting to degenerate. Degenerate? What is he talking about? I'm uh -huh. sorry. But why didn't you tell us? That's enough. Isn't it obvious? She didn't want us to worry about her. <sighs> Yada, in this world our minds aren't residing in our bodies, but in our player characters, right? 
That is merely speculation. Mm. But in this case, it would seem to be the most likely explanation for what we are experiencing. So this is a world where our minds and characters are linked together. Apparently so. So what will happen if Fadali's character data is lost while she's in this world? There is a distinct possibility that her own consciousness will be lost as well. <laughs> like how we're discussing this while she's in here. What? You've got to be kidding me. What should we do? How can we cure her of this? Is your head just for decoration? You should try thinking before you make a big fuss. He asked the question. Dang, calm down. Master Yada, do we know anything else? This too is only a guess. Mm -hmm. But it seems that this place is not really the world as we thought. Oh? It is a false world that Ida has created by copying the data off of CC Corp servers. Hmm. I believe that the world we are currently inside of is such a place. Really? So then, this is some kind of a mirror server. That's one way to put it. Adelie, at one time you had the power to distinguish Ida's sound from all others. Ida's sound? The sound you saw with Indrids. Come to you think of it, didn't you say something like that when we found Indy Glut Lou? Uh, well, if you mean hearing strange sounds and seeing bug-like things, I've had that happen a number of times. Have you heard that sound after being placed in your present condition? No, I haven't. I thought so. It all makes sense. It would seem that the data Ida stole from her is... Yes. You don't mean... The young girl's Morgana Factor. Morgana Factor? Morgana Factor? What's that? Master Yada. It's all right to tell him all about it now. The Morgana Factor is the specialized data that makes Epitaph users unique. Hmm. Epitaph users are special characters created by CC Corp for use during certain projects. Thus, Epitaph user PCs have data inside them that is not found inside regular PCs. That's the Morgana Factor, usually called Epitaphs. Uh -huh. So the reason that we can use avatars is because we have that Morgana Factor? I, I mean Epitaphs? That's right. Hence, Epitaph users. CC Corp mm. wants to mass produce Epitaph users. You mean as a defense against Ida? Yes, but thanks to strong protection protocols, We've been unable to adequately analyze them. We still don't know exactly what the Morgana Factor is. Thanks to that, not only can't we mass produce, we can't even make a copy of it. Yep. So why not just bring the creator in on it? He should be able to take care of that without a problem. As far as we know, the Morgana Factor was not created by any one person. Mm. Well then, how did you get a hold of him in the first place? We managed to salvage it from the dark abyss of this world. The yes. abyss of this world? Each of the Morgana factors has its own name and identity. Hmm. In my case, the name of my avatar is Tarvos, the epitaph of the Avenger. The Avenger! My avatar's name is Magus, the epitaph of the propagation. Hmm. As for Asao, his avatar goes by the name of Scaith. He is Scaith. the epitaph of the terror of death. The terror of death. Mm. All right. Makes it's an sense. odd coincidence that it's the same as your PKK nickname. Right? Even with Magus's the propagation, we can't repair the Morgana factor. Thus, now that she has lost her epitaph user abilities, Adelie can no longer hear Ida's sound. Maybe that's also part of the reason why Adelie lost her voice. Yada, what can we do to help her? There are no alternatives but to try to recover her Morgana factor from Ida. All right. However, However? it will be difficult to trace Ida precisely. Now that we are no longer on the actual CC Corp server. Great. 
Fortunately for us, this Ida server is far from being perfect. Good. This world contains seams in the structure. The fact that we can save our data is proof of that. That means... Yes. All we have to do is find them. It seems to me that at this point, our only acceptable option is to infiltrate the Ida areas and conduct a thorough search. Cool. Infiltrate? You mean with just us? Apparently so. There's no way we could possibly cover all the Ida areas between just the few of us. This is an emergency. We will reach out and ask other players for help. Oh boy. That's pretty impressive coming from someone as secretive as you. Hmm. Paseo, I believe you had a relationship with those at Moon Tree. What? You should go and ask them for help. <laughs> okay. Moon Tree? Do you think there's a chance that they would really listen to me? Contact Zalkova myself. Hi, I want you to go with Haseo and help with his negotiations. Okay. Yes, Master Yada. Uh, what about me? Adelie, you will stay here. Huh? But... If news of that arm were to spread beyond this group, it would only make things worse. Okay. Mm, thank you for listening. Sir. Off to Moon Tree Headquarters. Don't forget, the area words are Delta setting Eternity's night moon. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, I'll be waiting at the Chaos Gate. Ugh. I think about the longest amount of, like, cutscene talking I've had in a very long time. Okay, let's go. It's, uh... Something that's a chest. Netto! Netto! As you can, I speak to pickles is already for you. Ancient way of sharing good times. I just speak as hard as I can, yet I can't. It's kind of sad. Okay. I say, oh, if this is all he's doing, you can be troublesome. Okay. Alright, guys, so stay tuned. We are going to head to the Mudra Guild to talk to Sakaki. And see what we can do from there. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is AO Messenger. I am out here. Y'all have an awesome day with us. I'll see you guys next time for more. Bye!